today we are back again to give you all the latest buzz from Bollywood. For actors like Swara Bhaskar standing up and speaking out is reserved but favorable context. The liberal Bhaskar failed to acknowledge the progress a failing state is making. In a recent interview, Bollywood actor Swara Bhaskar brushed off the controversy around the ban on her freshly released movie We Re the Wedding. By calling the neighbor country a failing state, she also said that she didn't really expect any better from it. However, unfortunately, we live in an era where the internet remembers what you did last summer, and like it or not, it comes back to expose you. Pakistani VJ and actor Urwa Hukain posted a video of this interview with Bhaskar's comments alongside a snippet from an interview Bhaskar gave during her visit to Lahore. Both these clips show the contrasting views of the actor on Pakistan, while the one from Pakistan shows her claiming that Lahore is the best city she has ever visited. The recent one from India shows her belittling Pakistan in an equally passionate manner. I learned the word janab because I thought I should show some more manners here she said in Lahore Pakistanis have a way worse vocabulary than we do I know she said in a recent interview while arguing against the ban on her movie in Pakistan for strong language in a later tweet Bhaskar however said that her regard and goodwill towards the people of Pakistan remains unchanged So, who is the real Swara Bhaskar? Will she please stand up or is the standing up and speaking out just reserved for favorable context? Is political correctness just expected in open letters about the objectification of women in cinema? If not, then isn't it also the responsibility of the liberal feminist actor Swara Bhaskar to acknowledge the progress that the so-called failing state is making? It is the same country which passed the historic transgender bill in May, according to transgender citizens the right to self-identify. Pakistan has also been setting up special police forces for the protection of women, which are being run by women and is rapidly building infrastructure. There is progress and it would be foolish to underestimate this progress, not only because of the bilateral ties between the two neighboring nations but also because of the Bollywood-loving consumer base in Pakistan. losing out on by making such statements however baskar is in the only one at fault here we for instance love to single out those aspects of the country that can be fetished many indians one would like to believe prefer listening to coke studio pakistan over coke studio india even on screen pakistani tv shows like zindagi gulzar hai were received as a breath of fresh air against the over the top indian dramas but when the uri militant attack took place in september 2016 the film fraternity went ahead and banned all pakistani actors and singers from working in bollywood what kind of justice was that seems like it's convenient for bollywood to love and hate pakistan at the same time So if Pakistan banned an Indian film over vulgar language remember we ban Pakistani actors from working in Bollywood over their nationality not very progressive of us either right janab stay tuned to gossip raji for more bollywood gossip adios